Hi, welcome to Danny MC Essentials. Uh, my name is Danny. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel today. Today I am here to go over the Macy's Beauty Box. Uh, this is my first one. I uh, apologize for the lighting, the lights behind me, so I look really dark here. I am here in my living room today. My husband's in the bedroom. Uh, watching football so we have bad lighting here so I wanted to go over and talk to you about the Macy's Beauty Box so this is going to be my first box with them so they're just slightly different from all your typical boxes it is a monthly subscription it is $15 and then with tax so you're looking about $16.50 um, it comes out between the 27 to the last day of the month so they pulled it out at the end of November because we're in December and so this is the December box and it comes with this little pamphlet um it came pretty quick uh it said it shouldn't have been here until Wednesday but it did arrive today so it did get here fast um it with this subscription you get a $5 off a beauty purchase from the store or online. Um, so you do pay $5 more than you would with like Ipsy. Um, I'm sorry, I'm checking on my dogs. Uh, you pay $5 more, but you do get $5 towards the purchase. So yes, no, good, bad. I honestly, I do shop at uh, Macy's, so I would use the $5. I do pick up um, some beauty items from there. Um, this is kind of like Ipsy. It does come in a beauty bag and this is, let me move this box before I knock it on the floor. This is the bag this month. It says something beautiful is on the horizon. It's a really pretty bag this month. Um, it feels like a faux leather. And then when you open it, this is what it looks like on the inside. And then it does say Macy's on the inside of the bag. So. Um, it doesn't say Macy's on anywhere on the outside. And then it's like Ipsy because it does have um, sample size products. So let me open this bag up. The only um, preview I saw of this bag was what the bag was going to look like, not what was going to be in it. So everything is going to be a true surprise to me. Um, I am going to start with this item first. Um, it is the perfume. Um, as you've seen on all my other videos, if you've been with me, I don't like perfume. I'm not a fan of perfume. I am more of a body spray person. So the Victoria's Secrets body sprays that have the matching lotions, those are what I like to wear. Um, I do. I don't save them and collect them. I don't throw them away. I give them to a friend. She loves perfume. So I collect until I get like five to 10. If I don't see her for a long time, then it's a whole lot. But I give her bags of these suckers and then she uses them. So they do go to good use. And then the next item we have is Peter Thomas Raw. And this is the water drench hydro, hyaluronic cloud cream. And that's what it looks like. And it's pretty small, but like I said, it is sample size. And let's see if this has, I'm, oh, and it has a seal. I always like to see if stuff smells. And I did cut some of my nails, so trying to get this open is gonna be a little difficult. All right, so we got that off. Let me just put a little dab. It, it looks like Vaseline-ish. I don't know if you can tell. There we go. It looks a little like Vaseline. I'm sure it's not, but, oh, it's really, yeah, it's not like Vaseline, but it's really, I don't know how to say this. It's, it's thick, but it's thin at the same time. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't have a scent. So that, that really good. The next thing we have is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate. And that's what that looks like. Look, I, 
I have a double chin sitting like this looking down at you. I'm so sorry. This is such the bad angle for me. All right, so let's open this up. Oh, this is a different kind of bottle. It's brown. Let's open it up. Oh, has a little wand in it. Let's put that here. And let's see what this, you know what, let me smell it in here. It just has like a, for us, a hint of a fresh, fresh scent. And, oh, I rubbed it, but the, there's where it is. It's not overly greasy. It, I don't know. It's just a light cream. I don't have a lot to say about it. I'll definitely try it. And if it really, really works, I'll definitely buy it. So, oh, here we go. This is something I would love. This is the Chanel hand cream. And if you've seen my previous videos, you know I do love some Chanel stuff. I have Chanel, all the Chanel makeup brushes. And I have, um, I love the Chanel mascara. I'm not wearing any today. Um, let's see, and that's what it looks like. There's a lot of creams and stuff in this one. Not thick at all. Oh, it does, this has, not, I wouldn't say it was a strong scent, but a little stronger than those last two of the, I'm gonna say, it's like, it smells like a Chanel perfume. Just real light. But it's not, not too, too bad. And the next thing we have here is, oh, it's a nude stick, but it's in wrapping. And you couldn't tell it was a nude stick. You had to get the angle just right to see the word nude stick because the, the part where you rip it off was right on top of it. That's why I was looking at it like a, I didn't know what was going on. So you can barely see it there. It says nude stick. And this is a intense matte lip and cheek pencil. If that's the color, I definitely would not put that on my cheek. Oh, maybe. It, it does have a bit of a pink hue to it. And that's it right there. You can kind of see the pinkness. I tell you, this is like the bad angle of the light behind me. So I got a nude stick in one of my other boxes and it's a brown color. It is a lip product, not a lip and cheek. And I absolutely love it. Hold on, I do apologize. Papas, my, my old dog, he's a little overweight and he's over there trying to eat everybody else's food. So I have to, I have to stop him. And then the last thing we have in here is the MAC Lip Tensity. And this has three lip sample products in it. It's got dough, smoked almond, and mulling spices. Um, my most favorite out of it is going to be the red, and you can't really see it. There we go. That mold spice. This one is a little bit of a mauve color, and then this is more of a nude color. How do you open it? Let's see if I can be smarter than the package. Oh, you just peel it off. I want to pop one out to see. Oh, here we go. There they are, and then the names are on the back. I'm going to say I like the bag. The bag is definitely a nice, nice bag. The amount of products and the size of the products are kind of small. I mean, it is like Ipsy, um, but I would say that they are more higher end. So I definitely do love the fact that I got a Chanel product. That is a high-end item that is, ugh, I apologize, I've got like my nose is itching. It's a high-end product that I'm not gonna get in any of my other bags. So that is the benefit of going with the Macy's bag, is you're gonna get those Estee Lauders and the Chanel that you're not gonna get in Ipsy or any other um, trial sample size 
monthly subscription. So is it worth it? To me it is worth it because those are the products that I want. Those are the products I want to try. Um, if they work for me, then yes, I'll go, I'll go spend the money and buy those higher end products. But I don't want to buy the higher end products and then try it for a few weeks or a few months and then it not work for me. So this is why I think the Macy's box is worth getting. Um, you do have the $5 to go towards your a beauty purchase, whether it's one of the items that came in your bag, purchasing the full size or purchasing something else, the $5 is worth it. Um, everybody ha will have a different opinion about it. I've seen videos where people are like, is it worth it? No, I'm canceling it, but I'll definitely keep it. I want to try those higher end things. The bags I've seen have always been really nice bags. This isn't too much my style. What I'll probably end up doing with this one is putting all the perfumes in it and giving it to my friend because this is her kind of style. But the other bags that I've seen have all been my style. This is the only one that hasn't. And even if I don't give it to her, I'll save it and use it um, for other things. Um, maybe because once in a while, I do take a couple makeup items with me to work to finish up my makeup because I'm in a rush in the morning because I wanted to sleep in instead of get up and get ready. So I may use it for something like that, but I definitely feel the Macy's box by far is a great box. For the price, the bag, the $5, I definitely suggest if you want to try high-end products, you'd go with it. Um, if I had to choose Ipsy over Macy's I would probably go with Macy's but at this time I'm gonna keep all my subscriptions I do want to let you know you will not be seeing me do a Sephora play and possibly a boxycharm this month I was not happy with the sneak peeks that I happened to see this month um I wasn't a fan of the three uh, previews I saw so I didn't put the money in the in the account that I have my subscriptions come out of. I didn't put the money in there for it to pull because I truly did not want to pay for this month's box because uh, items, the three of the five items that I saw, I was not interested in at all. Um, one of the three I might have possibly, but the colors that they were giving was not a color and it was the lip product was not a color I was interested in. So I didn't want to pay the $21 to have five products that I wasn't gonna like. So the other two products that they ended up coming out with, I really didn't like. So I am glad I didn't pay for this month's subscription. I will um, pay for next month's subscription. And Sephora Play, I just, I didn't have time to go put the money in the account to have that pool so those two I definitely will not be getting this month um, the other ones though should come and they'll probably come on like the last week of the month because I put the money in late and they pulled late so that's just an update on those so you may not even see me post um, videos on unboxings until the end of the month I do have an order going in Friday for some Tupperware products so Possibly the next thing that we're gonna unbox is gonna be the Tupperware and I'm gonna go over those um, Friday's gonna be the last day uh, For that the sale of this special item that I am ordering But I do want to show it off show you what it looks like it looks like um, I may possibly have a second set um, On hand that I'll be able to sell so if somebody's interested in the set after they see it You can always um, message me email me whatever the case may be and you can pick up your your set that looks like mine. So enough of this bad lighting and me rambling and me in this nasty t-shirt that I threw on to get out of my work clothes. Thank you for joining me. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will be doing the giveaway for when we hit 50 subscribers. Um, make sure you like this video and Thank you for joining me. You have a great night and I will talk to you guys again shortly.